Hey, uh, you, yes, you, handsome devil of whatever gender or frankly species. Yes, we are that inclusive here, right? Go listen to the second episode because there is a guy who you're listening to right now. The guy who literally puts videos in private access mode so no one can see them. Hmm. So please feel free to support this pod by listening to it on YouTube and SoundCloud. It's free and it's not real. However, you know, and I know you do between you and some cash. What do you think I choose? With correct amount, you can buy a sum with a capital. With a However, we are here for being happy, and happiness is totally purchasable. The thing you can purchase, I mean, in many, many, many ways. But statistics of wealth being spread among professions, countries and regions, strata of ages, etc. All of those are telling us about this great capitalist issue nobody knows how to overcome so far. The wealth is being spread more and more unequally. So rich get richer and poor, well, yeah. I must add here that the standards of what is poor change, but when it comes to rich, we have less doubt. It changes over time, but still. We have people that are rich for a reason, and the fact that we have billionaires is quite morbid and eerie to me. When we have them in 2023, of course. Maybe at some time it was a thing which was quite cool to have, I guess, but not anymore. I feel like the lack of basic human empathy makes you accumulate assets and not to reinforce them by investing in people, human capital, knowledge. The lack of humanity in the infamous 3% of the world scares me for real. It might be a bit more than three or a bit less by now, but you get the point. I'm pretty sure about myself when it comes to be wealthy. I'll never become rich in my life. There is no way I will be able to get what it takes to become super wealthy. I have a chance to earn something to get my own apartment up to my late 40s, if I'm lucky. But I'm pretty sure modern economy isn't working like this in countries I'm interested in. Even Europe is not helping with prices. There is a Scandinavian thing where your wealth is spread somehow equally and I was able to earn a bit before they threw me out of EU despite of having a sustainable income from my side and almost a family. Europe is tricky and... uh, not as good as people, for example, from US like to think. It's much better than many places on earth, don't get me wrong, when it comes to the living standards, but I can't get all of the issues out of my head. So I keep thinking where the income getting journey leads me and watching the news never helps. Media training helps you to understand some events, but not fully for sure. Adding some misinforming takes to the canvas all the time. I'm quite disappointed with any kind of media at this point, considering every single one has to be financed and the main investor is always not the people. Here we mentioned the so-called traditional media, of course. But even YouTube and TikTok want to rely on paid content promotion option, which is just sick to me, to be honest. I decided to check how bad the promoting system can be even though I had the idea already of how bad can it be generally, but I wanted to go a bit deeper. So I created an account and promoted a few videos enabled to be promoted. And I did this after posting and seeing how many views I can get on average. And after promoting a piece of my content through the official tools of the big platforms, It did cut down my views significantly, nearly to a shadow ban level. It's upsetting and makes you think that any viral video becomes viral only 
through tools on the platform. Every company works on the scenario of only escalating profit, ever growing profit. I keep this in my mind now every time I post something and it affects my mood. Thus, the creative process. One of the very few things keeping you away from depression and other things I don't even want to mention. One of the recipes, I guess, is to go offline for a while or forever. <laughs> to reevaluate content posting in general from my side. But after seeing the dynamic where big creators get bigger and small beginners lost in tons of content, never recommended to anyone with almost or exactly zero views. It seems to me something has to happen. One of the solutions is to stop promoting online culture and creators. Sounds a bit weird. To stop watching any kind of content and start farming and finally resolve global crises. To go to space and um, mine resources to increase entropy in the ways that matter. But I personally don't see it happening anytime soon. I definitely have a better chance to become a billionaire out of nowhere than see the climate and space explanation miracle to take place during my lifetime. So that's my take on the issue here. My takes in general are not that long. It's just like um, throwing out a little bit of opinion of mine. If you're interested in what I'm saying, you can always subscribe here. And um, for now, the podcast has the SoundCloud page. Maybe at some point I will develop it more. I could put stuff on different kinds of platforms. But for now, it's on SoundCloud until the point of three hours of content uploaded there, at least. And then if I get a subscription, it's going to be more there for sure. Like every episode will be also uploaded on SoundCloud after I reach that limit of uh, three hours. But I think for now, YouTube offers you an easier access to the audience, easier way to upload things, I think. Or it's just more familiar to myself. If you have some interesting platforms besides iTunes, which I'm working on right now, I'm just waiting for my Apple ID to be reinstated. If it works the way I want to, I will upload it on iTunes for sure. But thank you so much for watching and listening if you're just on SoundCloud. There's not much to watch though, like if you're on YouTube and you see this podcast on SoundCloud, just so you know, there is like a poster of the name of the episode and uh, my uh, stupid picture over there. So you can't see much of the stuff. But in the next episode, we hopefully will get a guest, which is uh, one of my closest friends. And we're going to talk about fetch shaming. We are, if I'm able to conclude the podcast scenario. Because I have a couple more ideas of my own, but I really want her to speak a little bit too. I think it's a little bit more fun with someone in the frame, or at least, you know, sitting beside me or something. We're gonna probably show some pictures on the screen too, even though there will be always like a poster. So it's like, it's a listening podcast after all. There's not much to see right now. There is no like studio or anything, but we can um, at least make uh, some arrangements to show you the photos of her from like high school, her photos now. And uh, she asked me to at least to do something like that. So we're going to see what's going to happen. So thank you so much for watching and uh, see you in the next one. Bye bye.